Hello everyone, my name is C. Tang. I'm Vivian. Yeah. For our 5760 Advanced Microcontroller Final Project, we've built a um, binarized neural network um, classifier to do digit recognitions on an FPGA. And um, basically our model, we, we borrow a Python code from a PhD student, Richie Zhao, and we use his Python code to train the weight for the binarized neural network, then we port the weight to the FPGA and implement the, the neural network on the FPGA to do digit recognitions. Video, do you want to talk more about this? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So the net has two convolution that two convolution layers and two fully connected layers. Um, the first convolution layer has 16 3x3 three three filters and the second has 16 by 32 3 by 3 filters. Um, the fully connected layers, the weights for those are uh, 128 by 32 size matrix and then for the last layer it's a 32 by 10 size matrix. Um, so the computation through the layers is fully combinational up to the first partial sum layer which comes after the second convolutional layer and at that point we need to calculate a cumulative sum so we aren't actually able to do it combinationally so that's when multiple cycles are introduced. But so much of it is completely parallelized. Yeah, so everything yes. from the input image being fed into the net. Convolution, um, polling. First, yep, uh, the first convolutional layer, the first polling yep. layer, the second convolutional layer. Um, just yeah, a, up to that. Yeah, just it's, a bunch of wires because there's no like additions of um, accumulating sums. And right now um, we can send the hard-coded data from the HPS to the FPGA for computation. So let's go with a zebra. So this is so this is a HPS mm -hmm. uh, console mm -hmm. over here, and we just send it over, and we can see that um, on the FPGA is um, computing it, and it compute a um, it comp it output the data from the last fully connected layer back to the HPS for compute um, for the percentage calculation, which is draw on the screen. We can see that is inferencing number zero to be the highest percentage. 24%, so it is a zero, and it only takes four microseconds. And in Python, it takes about 44 microseconds, so it's a 10 times speed up doing it on the FPGA than on the Python. Okay. Yeah. Very good, okay. Very nice. And now we can send a four over. And that that's properly classified, although the percentage isn't very high, but it's higher than anything else. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, and again, the, the resolution is 8 by 8, so... Right. The resolution. You're relatively limited. All the weights are one bit, um, so we're able to use ternary operators instead of actual multipliers to reduce the total number of like, multipliers moved in the entire design. So it reduces the number of multipliers to zero, um, almost. almost. We have some in there for other pieces, but yeah, they're not actually used. And, and it also reduces, therefore, the number of ALMs, but you still ran out of ALMs, right? We ran out of ALMs when we were trying to introduce PIO ports from the HPS to the FPGA to pass in the input image, which was our original intent to make it so that you could classify data in real time. Right now, these images are hard-coded into the FPGA, and you can select between them using the switches and the HPS interface. Um, but yeah, right now, we actually only, look, we're using about 88%. So that's still a decently Pretty, high. Yeah, that's decently high. Run out yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you.